So in this video, I'll be showing you how to get past the insert media message when you try and refresh or reinstall Windows 8 or 8.1. So in one of my previous videos, I showed you how to reinstall or refresh your Windows 8 or 8.1 PC without losing any files. Some of the comments on that video have said that sometimes it's not possible due to a error message that appears and that error message looks like this it says insert media some files are missing your windows installation or recovery media will provide these files and there's two or three reasons why this might happen on your machine the first is that you haven't got the windows 8 or 8.1 disk inserted in your cd drive this means that it can't actually reinstall because it's got no source installation files the other reason is because you don't actually have a recovery partition on your hard drive. So if you've installed Windows 8 or 8.1 from the CD onto a standard machine, then you won't by default have a recovery partition. However, if you've bought a laptop and it came with Windows 8 or 8.1 pre-installed, then the odds are it will have recovery media available and you won't get this message. So there's also two or three ways to fix this message. The first and easiest method is to insert the Windows installation disk. Sometimes this isn't possible if you haven't got a DVD drive, so the following method will show you how to get around that. So if we exit out of this error message and click cancel, and we'll exit the PC settings, the first method that I recommend if you haven't got a DVD for Windows 8.1 is to actually recreate your recovery partition. That can be done quite easily using a batch file that I've created. So if you head over to my website at benstechtips.com and you'll arrive at this page, head over to the download section and locate the Windows 8 refresh fixer. I'll also put a direct link in the description below and on screen now. But this program here will actually fix your recovery partition so that you are able to actually refresh your copy of Windows 8 or 8.1. So once you're at this page you'll need to download the file. If you hit download and you'll then need to actually log in. So you can create an account if you don't have one and if you do then just sign in here. So I'll log in with my details here and then you can agree and download. Download the file and save it to a location on your computer. For now I'm going to put it in documents and we're going to leave it as the name fixer. Okay so now that's completed we're going to open the folder and this file will need to be run as an administrator. To do that we just need to right click run as administrator and all that allows is the program to make changes to your computer so we're going to go ahead and click that and we're going to press run and yes. So you'll see this black box open, that's the command prompt and at the top it says do not close this window. Uh, that's because if you do close the window then you're going to end up with a half created image. So as you can see it's currently actually creating the image and writing it to C refresh image custom refresh. Depending on the speed of your machine this could take between sort of 10 minutes and half an hour. The reason it takes so long is because it's compiling all of the Windows installation files into essentially a source installation. So I'm going to pause the video and come back when it's finished writing the image. So once the image has been created the program will close and that's when it's actually complete. If you didn't run this program as administrator, you'll notice that the command prompt just opens and closes uh, straight away and that won't actually fix the problem so you must make sure that you go to run as administrator. So once the program is run, then we can head back over to the PC settings to update and recovery, recovery and click on get started. And this time you'll get the refresh your PC message where you can press next and start the refresh. If you're still experiencing issues after completing these steps then you'll need to head over to benstechtips.com and post a thread there.